Happy Friday, everyone. I just got done talking to this group that I have been running with my very own coach, helping people learn to strengthen their minds, strengthen their their willpower, and have a more positive um, mindset and attitude that is full of gratitude because so many people are held back by limiting beliefs that have stemmed from childhood and past experiences that really hurt their heart and their their and stayed locked into their brain and today I talked to them about savers and I don't know how many of you know who Hal Elrod is but he created the miracle morning and so we are really big on personal development and so part of what the miracle morning uh, is is what we as coaches do and what I attribute to my biggest success as growth uh, or for growth as a human being and so um, the S stands for silence a affirmations um, V visualizations E exercise are reading and s scribing so essentially what we've been really focusing on teaching the participants in our group is that every morning you get up and you do meditation and i i was very against meditation for a long time i thought it was for like hippies i thought it was for weirdos i thought it was for like super spiritual people and i didn't consider myself any of that but i got into meditation when i attended a tony robbins event my second one um in march of this year and this man i can't remember what his name was um he came out and he did a guided meditation and in November when I first attended this event I probably would have left but I was at a certain point in my life where it didn't feel uncomfortable so me talking about this might make you feel uncomfortable now because you're not in that space and there's nothing wrong with that but I stayed there for it and I felt this calm and this like inner peace that I'd been searching for that I was ready for and I didn't really know how to meditate on my own I have ADD so I've got like a thousand thoughts running through my mind at every minute so I found an app from my coach called insight timer and also there's another one headspace that you know is whatever one works for you um, insight timer has a lot more um, different guided meditations and um, headspace is kind of like an intro where you can learn how to meditate they're very short but so whatever one works you can find stuff on YouTube but I listen to those I listen to them at night to help my, myself go to sleep I listened to it this morning my husband got up at 5 and I didn't really want to get up yet at 5 so I just listened to meditation from 5 to 7 30 and I kept waking up and then falling or falling asleep waking up but this is a great way to end your day and start your day so then one thing is the a stands for affirmations and then the last s of savers stands for scribing so i i i and my coach rolled this in together so we journal every day and we start off with um three things that we're grateful for and when you do that when your attitude is full of gratitude then you it's hard to be mad it's hard to be negative when you started off thinking about all the positive and when you write it down it becomes real so also I write there in my journal my affirmation so you know I am calm I am worthy I am strong I am beautiful whatever this is that you want to be that you want to remind yourself that you are because somebody out there told you that you weren't that's where to write it I also set my intentions of what I'm going to have my day be like. I'm going to be productive. I'm going to smile. I'm going to be kind. Whatever it is. But this is the way I start my day so that I have a good day. So that the people in my life have a better day. Because let's face it. If you have a shitty day, you're going to yell at your kids. You're going to snap at your husband. You're going to snap at your customers. You're not going to have the energy to want to do this or that. And so you're giving yourself and the people you love and the people around you a gift. So that's something that we've been doing is journaling and teaching the people in our group to journal. And then also um, exercising. So when you exercise, you get those endorphins going. You're doing self-care. You're making yourself feel better. Exercise isn't just about muscles or abs. However, I like my muscles and my abs, but it's about feeling good about yourself. It's about honoring your body, that we have one body, one life. When you take care of yourself, it is the 
the simplest act of self-love. And for me, I think the most attractive thing in a person is when they take care of themselves. It means that they love themselves, that they honor themselves, that they respect themselves, that they you know, cherish their life and that they don't take it for granted. And I find that a very highly attractive quality in a human being because I trashed my body for so long because I didn't think that I was worthy. I didn't think that I was deserving. I didn't want to live a long life. I didn't think that I was going to live a long life. And those thoughts made me do the things that I did that were going to dictate that I didn't live a long, happy, healthy, you know, long life. So that's something that's great. And the way that the miracle morning works is like you just do this for, you know, you, you, you set the time, like 10 minutes of working out, two minutes of silence. Because I mean, for somebody for like me, a long time of silence is really hard. I talk a lot. So, you know, you can start off small. Um, but you need to have that that moment where you're alone with your thoughts, where kids aren't, you know, beating on the door asking you to do something, where you don't have music going, you, you don't have coworkers around you, you're not trying to cook dinner, but a moment of silence for you. You deserve that to get your thoughts straight. So many people in this world I see, they don't know what they want. One minute they're doing this, one minute they're doing next, and then talking crap about this, and then they decide that they wanna quit this and do that. That means they don't know what they want because they're busy all the time and don't have time to figure it out. So that's something that we have been really working on in our group and something that I've been practicing for quite a while that's made a big difference and helped me get through the stuff that goes on in life that nobody's immune to and I'm able to recover faster. I've had things that have just literally brought me to my knees in the last few years. I've had things that where I felt hopeless, where I was frustrated, where I was just downright angry and bitter and terrified. And so those things are never going to go away. But when you're surrounded with the right people, when you're taking care of yourself, when you're filling your mind full of the right things, and when you know exactly what you want and exactly what you'll stand for, it helps you get out of those tight spots in life a whole lot faster. And it just makes you appreciate life so much more. So I just wanted to share with you what we have been teaching, what I teach, and because I figure that whenever I learn things that made me a happier, healthier, person that I want other people to experience it too because it's not just for me it's for everybody and I also wanted to just go for a walk and show you what a beautiful day it is it's like I don't know what it is yesterday was like 60 degrees mid-morning and I told my friend in Utah I'm like oh my god it was 60 degrees she's like that's awful to us here in Texas this is beautiful gorgeous weather so I'm out walking around and I love the fact that I have that freedom now that I'm not stuck behind a desk counting down the hours until I can leave and I'm here able to talk to you and share what I am passionate about and that's been the biggest thing is that exercise helped me find my passion and my passion has become my paycheck and it doesn't even feel like work when you're helping other people um, I don't think I ever smiled this much or cared that much about the people I worked with um, they just were very unhappy and bitter and I didn't think I could help them and now I get to work with people who are looking for change maybe they're not exactly ready maybe they're not moving at the same pace as me or the next person but they want change and they appreciate um, somebody who is changing so if you're looking for change if you are looking for a different you know way of thinking, a way of living, if you want to be healthier and happier, there are so many people out there that are willing and able and ready to help you. Maybe I'm not your cup of tea, maybe you just stumbled across this video, but somebody out there is, and all you have to do is ask. The most successful people have usually been through the most shit, and they can teach you how you have that same power to be able to fix your life if you're feeling like you're in a funk. So happy Friday.